what a way to get things back on track. After a few bad weeks of tough losses, the Giants have now won their last four in a row, including this sweep of the Philadelphia Phillies who, you might recall, swept them in a four-game series early in May. This series has really made the team look like a competent group of baseball players who know how to play baseball. That might seem like it's barely a compliment, but after watching the last few weeks of this team stumbling around on the field and allowing all of the runs, that is the highest of praise. Derek Rodriguez made the first Major League start of his career and ended up getting the win. He was working with four pitches, including a mid-90s fastball and a gorgeous curveball that averaged in the high 70s. He went six innings, allowed one run on five hits, with two walks and struck out six. He had two battles with a Dubal Herrera that ended in swing and miss strikeouts with his curveball. He then immediately walked Carlos Santana afterwards each time, but quickly induced a double play and a ground out to clean it up. The one run he allowed came from opposing pitcher Jake Arrieta on a home run that left everyone with flashbacks to the 2016 NLDS. But just like in that game, if not the series, the Giants came back to win. Rodriguez said Bumgarner came up to him after Arrieta homer. Bum told me he gave one up to him too. That made me feel better, Alex Pavlovich, at Pavlovich NBCS, June 3, 2018 Arietta came into the game having allowed only three runs in the month of March, and it showed for much of the game, where he allowed only three hits in five innings that were immediately followed by double plays. However, the Giants rallied for five runs in the sixth inning to end his day. Gorky's Hernandez started things off with a single, after nearly getting hit in the head. Hunter Pence had been on deck to much fanfare from those who spotted him, but he was pulled back after the single for Alan Hansen, who beat out a slow roller for an infield single after coming back from a hamstring injury. Joe Panic singled in Hernandez, then Buster Posey singled in Hansen, which set the table for Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon had faced Arietta 65 times in his career and never hit a home run, the most he'd ever faced a pitcher without doing so. However, Arietta had gotten complacent and served up a hanging 80 miles per hour curveball to McCutcheon who sent it packing just shy of the right field foul pole for a three-run home run to give the Giants a 5-1 lead. Rodriguez was done for the day after Hansen pinch hit for him, and Mark Melanson came in for the seventh inning to make his first appearance of the year. Melanson struck out the side, mixing up a 90 miles per hour cutter and a curve ball for the first and last, and throwing 90 miles per hour fastballs to get the second. It was an incredibly promising start to his season, after many here at this website, who shall remain nameless, insisted he would never pitch in a major league game again. Will Smith got into a bit of trouble in the eighth inning, with a single and a walk, but got out of the jam with a flyout, strikeout and a pop-up caught by Pablo Sandoval that was like the mirror image of the last out of the 2014 World Series. Hunter Pence finally did get a plate appearance in the bottom of the eight, to even larger cheers from the crowd, and hit a fly ball that was caught in deep center field against Hector Neris. Shortly afterwards, Buster Posey came up to bat. Posey has history, with Neris after getting plunked by him in the last game they played against each other in San Francisco last year, one which Posey believed to be intentional. Neres didn't help matters today, pitching him inside twice before Posey proceeded to hit his fourth home run of the season. I would say Posey won this exchange. Revenge is a dish best served on a platter down the middle of the plate. Andrew McCutcheon almost repeated for his second of the game, but it bounced off the wall for a double. 
He then attempted to run home on a Brandon Crawford double but was out by plenty to end the inning and cut the second rally short at one run. It was more than they would need, however, as Reyes Moranta came in and pitched a clean ninth inning to end the game. They didn't gain any ground in the division, unfortunately, as the Dodgers beat the Rockies and the Diamondbacks beat the Marlins. So things remain the same, with the Giants and Dodgers tied for third place, two and a half games behind the Diamondbacks. But holding on is important, it is the key right now as they await Bumgarner's debut and the return of Brandon Belt. And Derek Rodriguez did that today, with the help of some big swings. And when you get your first Major League win, you get a beer shower in a shopping cart? I mean, I guess there are worse ways to celebrate. Enjoy it, kid. You earned it.